you have gone through so much of trauma in your personal life. Your family was assassinated. Uh, while uh, you know many of us remember that phase of the 70s and 80s, uh, there are many young Indians who are not aware. Ma'am, in your own words, could you tell me what you faced in those years? You know, 1971, when war started, my father was arrested. I was, my mother was in custody, me too, and I was expecting my first baby. But I thanks to India, government, India, uh, people, India, and they supported our, you know, uh, war, of uh, war of liberation. They support, not only supported war of liberation, also they gave shelter, our refugees, all. Then comes 1975. It, uh, it was uh, so suddenly it happened. Only 15 days ago, my sister and myself, we left the country. I went to Germany where my husband, he was the nuclear scientist. He was doing his post PhD research there. So we just went there just for a few days, couple of months. And what but was, suddenly- I'm sorry to inter interrupt. What was your last meeting with your father before you left? It is 30th July. You remember that? Clearly. Yeah. Your Actually, mother and father. Mother, father. Every, every day I was, was to, as because my fa husband was abroad, so I used to live in the same mm. house. So that day, everybody was there. My father, mother, my three brothers, two newly wedded sister-in-laws, everybody was there. So all of siblings and their, um, you know, spouse, they, came to the airport so she us off and we met father and mother. That was the last day. Yeah. Then fifteenth August in the morning we were we heard this news but we couldn't believe it. It was really uh, unbelievable unbelievable that any Bengali could do it. Mm. And still we didn't know how what really happened only there was a coup, and then we heard that my father was assassinated, but we didn't know that all the family members were, you know, uh, they were assassinated. But that time, Mrs. Gandhi immediately sent information that she wanted to give us, I mean, security and shelter. So we received, especially from Marshal Tito, from Yugoslavia and Mrs. Gandhi, and we decided to come back here because we had in our mind that if we go to Delhi, from Delhi, we'll be able to go back to my, our country, and then we could, we'll be able to know how many members of family still alive are. How do you are. cope with that, ma'am, to know that your entire family is wiped out? It's a very difficult time. When I heard this news, the ambassador, Germany, Mr. Homan Roshi Chaudhary, he called me alone and then he told me. For a few moments, I didn't know where I was, how I was. But I thought about my sister. She is, actually she is 10 years younger than me. So, actually, I, I I thought how she will take it. It is so difficult for her. Then when we returned to Delhi, at first they put us in a, in, in a house with all security because they are also worried about us. Did you feel that you could be a target at that stage? There was uh, news like this because those who killed our parents after the, their attack, three houses at a time. To find you? Uh, no, 
to kill members like my father's sister, uh, two sisters house and they killed family members simultaneously. How many members were killed ma'am? Uh, almost 18 members and some mostly my relatives and then some maid servant, their children, there were some guests, my uncle. So it was to see that nobody from Bangabandhu's family ever comes back to power, right? Exactly. My younger brother was only 10 years old, so they didn't inspire him to. So when we returned Delhi, it was uh, perhaps 24th August, then I met Prime Minister Mrs. Gandhi. She called us and we, so there we came to know that nobody is alive. Then she made all the arrangements for us, a job for my husband and this Pandara Road house. We stayed there. So first two, three years, it actually, it was so difficult to accept this. My children, my, my son was only four years old, four years old and my daughter, she's younger than him. Both of them used to cry to come go to my mother, my father, and they used to remember my younger brother mostly. So, so but then gradually we have, uh, and uh, well, as because our children, my sister is there. So, this sorrow, pain, it was very difficult, but still we have well we have to think what to do we should do something we should we cannot live like this and this crime not only killed my father also they changed the ideology of our liberation war everything just just one night everything just changed and those killers, they actually, they are haunting us. That they are take, uh, trying to find out where we are. So when we live in Pandora Road, even we did, we couldn't. Our name was changed in Delhi. In Pandora. In Delhi, yeah. So you lived under a different name also. Different name. Okay. And it is so painful that you cannot use your own name, own identity. Yes. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, be, be, because of the security purpose, they okay. did not allow so us. So nobody to. from Bangladesh came to meet you in those years? Uh, at the beginning, almost all, as be, because of all my family members, those, they were not who, allowed to come uh, well, those who survived. And uh, within this, like my auntie and my two cousins, so. sisters, and one brother, they got bulleted short so they got treatment and after that most of them they just went to calcutta uh -huh. but first two three years we couldn't meet anybody you were in india from 75 to eight, 81 81 